This video was inspired by a recent demonstration where a brake caliper pocket was machined using a rotary table. In this video, I'll show an alternative method, how to machine an angled or diamond-shaped pocket accurately without using a rotary table. Here is the completed demonstration. You can see the diamond-shaped pocket holding the test piece securely. When the plate is rotated 180 degrees, the reamed holes still align perfectly, confirming the accuracy of the setup. Here are the calculations for the two pin positions. These define the center line of the cutter during machining. The plate pivots on the top hole and the bottom hole determines the angle on each side. By moving the Y axis by a calculated offset, two edges can be machined in the same setup. The opposite edges are then machined by pivoting the plate to a new bottom pin position. This position is the same offset from the datum hole but located on the opposite side. To begin, a hole is drilled and reamed in a scrap block to act as a pivot reference. Its exact position is not critical, as the DRO will be zeroed at this location. This is the only fixed reference point required. A second pin is held in the collet and moved to the calculated position for the first angled cuts. The plate is located on the bottom pin, which establishes both the angle and the position. The plate is then clamped securely. The y-axis is adjusted to allow a 0.2mm finish cut and the first edge is climb mirror. A second pass completes the edge to final side. The y-axis is then moved to the calculated offset, again allowing for a finish cut. At this stage, the first two parallel sides are complete. Only two coordinate positions were required for this operation. Next, the plate is pivoted on the top pin and the bottom pin is moved to the same coordinates as before but mirrored to the opposite side of the x-axis center line. Once positioned, the plate is clamped again. The same machining sequence is repeated. This time, the cutter begins at the intersection point to ensure consistent climb milling across both edges. In summary, one reamed hole acts as the reference pivot. One simple triangular layout defines the motion. Two coordinates determine all machining positions. Two setups complete the pocket. Once the setup is established, each plate can be machined in under five minutes. The calculations include a 0.05 millimeter to clearance on all sides to ensure accurate and repeatable results.
This method provides a straightforward and precise approach to machining angled pockets without requiring a rotary table. Thank you for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.